We're at lesson 3.4. We're going to do some problem solving. We're going to model multiplication for one and two step problems. We can use the strategy draw a diagram to solve one step and two step word problems. We can draw bar models. There's a few steps we need to follow to solve word problems. The first thing we need to do is read the problem. Then we determine what we need to find and we determine what information we need to use. Then we determine how we will use the information. Which operation will we use? Which strategy will we use? Then lastly we check our work. We see does our answer make sense? Did we label our answer? Three groups of students decided to pick up litter to clean the local park. There are eight students in each group. How many students are cleaning up the park? We ask ourselves, what do we need to find? We need to find how many students are cleaning the park. What information do we need to use? Well, there's three groups. There's eight students in each group. And how will we use the information? we can draw a bar model to see three groups of eight students. We complete a bar model to show the students. We make three parts for the three groups. So here's our bar and we make three parts. We write an eight in each box to show the eight students of the three groups. It's going to equal this purple square of students in all. Since we have equal groups, we can multiply to find the number of students. We have three groups of eight. That's three times eight is going to equal the purple square. Three times eight is 24. So 24 is equal to the purple square. There are 24 students in all that are deciding to clean up the local park. A little side note for the parents, the reason they're using this purple square is because within the next couple years, they're going to be using variables as an unknown amount, and this prepares them for starting to use variables. Twelve people went to lunch. Seven of them each ate one hamburger. The rest of the people ate two hot dogs each. How many hot dogs were eaten? First thing we do is ask, what do we need to find? We need to find how many hot dogs were eaten in all. What information do we need to use? We need to know that there were 12 people. We need to know seven people ate hamburgers, not hot dogs. And the rest ate two hot dogs each. How will we use the information? We can draw a bar model to see how many groups of two hot dogs were eaten. We complete a bar model to show the people. We make two parts. One part is that seven people ate hamburgers, and then we have the rest who ate hot dogs. There's 12 people in all, so this missing amount is the amount of people who had hot dogs. We use subtraction to find the difference and remove the hamburger eaters. There were 12 people, seven people ate hamburgers, so we need to remove them that means five people ate hot dogs. Now we make a bar model to show five groups of two for five people each ate two hot dogs. We've got five groups. We put a two in each group because these are each people who had two hot dogs. We can write our multiplication sentence and multiply. We have five groups of two we can skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's ten hot dogs. Our multiplication sentence is five times two is equal to ten hot dogs. We had five groups of two. That's equal to ten. Ten hot dogs in all.
Lisa bought two packages of blue pens and three packages of black pens. There's four pens in each package. So how many pens did Lisa buy in all? What do we need to find? We need to find how many pens in all. And what information do we need to use? She bought two packages of blue pens and three packages of black pens. It's also important to know that there's four pens in each package. How will we use the information? We can draw bar models for each group of packages. We complete bar models for each group of packages. We have equal groups of four. She had two packages of four blue pens, so that's two groups of four. And she has three packages of four black pens, so that's three groups of four. Two groups plus three groups makes five groups of four. Our multiplication sentence is five times four, and that's equal to 20, 20 pens. So Lisa bought 20 pens in all. In our next lesson, we're going to model with arrays. We're going to use arrays to model multiplication and find factors. I hope you're having a really good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.